I'm on my bike trip. And I looked the part. Uh, yeah, on there. Going that way. Came from that direction. Look at the horses. Pretty cool. I was, I was, I was, it's weird you can see like my face and then the reflection. <laughs> uh, wait, how do you turn? There. <laughs> Going that way. I feel like I must be, must be, cra must be, cra must be cra crazy for doing this, but uh, here I am. Gotta get away to me once in a while. I, I failed to mention that I came from Highway 2. And yeah, I was at the Yolks getting some pureed fruit packs. Uh, yeah, I got on Highway 2 and then turned on here on Wood. So, go in that direction. So, that is the town of Reardon. Or Reardon, I don't know. <laughs> I used to drive through there it's on the way to uh, Valley, not Spokane Valley. highway that cross and then on the way to Davenport to go over there I guess. That seemed like a good idea I guess. Just make it a brother go no really <laughs> so there you see I'm turning on the Murbach from uh, can you see that it's Dittmar Road that I just came out and, and it's Pretty bumpy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think it. I think I'm in Devonport, almost or something. Something like that. So, going this way. Oh, it looks like the looks like the statue like of Liberty over there. Or tree. Maybe I'm just tripping out, man. <laughs> so, yeah, going that way toward a uh, hot creek road and then that'll take me over to the lake uh what's it called one of the president's names there you go hello people of earth <laughs> um so this is hot creek road and I just keep taking it. I should bend to the right there, up ahead. And back there, Hor Orson Hills. Wow, those are some pretty steep hills, but I've done that before, so not bad. Ask me, what am I doing out here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty crazy. Hopefully, I'll have enough energy to get back to get to the lake. So, see you then.
Oh, made it to the lake. Uh, Roosevelt, yeah. Lake Roosevelt. And I have a seven mile climb out of this canyon. And it's kind of a challenge. Just walking the bike a little, little bit. And then I have to go south to, I don't have to, but I will, I'm planning on going south to Preston, not British Columbia, and <laughs> thing, but uh, no. We're in Washington State. Look, see everything pretty cool. Uh, that was just my update. I have to go get out of the canyon seven miles and then go south to Creston. I have another seven miles. I'll kind of skirt along Highway 2 till I get to that big hill up and get up to the base for a child. And then I'll be pretty much on the base or the bus route, but might be too late, I think. <laughs> it's almost 3 o'clock, or it probably is 3 o'clock now. So, I don't know. See what happens. Okay, <clears throat> here's an update on the journey. Well, that video, videoing uh, left off at the lake at Roosevelt Lake. So I got down. Turning there on, onto Janet. Um, well, what happened is I sort of walked my bike out of the canyon because it's pretty steep and yeah, that, that tired me out a lot. <laughs> it's a few miles uphill and then got to the road that's called Miles Dash. Preston Road, and yeah, got onto that, and got almost to Creston, but I was at Highway 2, and I thought, well, I'll just start riding down Highway 2, and I was, at, I was pretty tired at that point, so I was just riding my bike, and then I'd walk for a little bit, and then ride my bike, and so on and so on. And then it started getting dark. Um, uh, yeah, I was getting colder and everything. Because I could have put my jacket on, but anyway, I got into Davenport and I just got right into the town. And then right off to my right was a motel. <laughs> so I thought, hmm, maybe I'll stay in that motel. I knew I didn't have enough money, so I just paid the front desk lady $60 and still owe her about 35 with the tax. And so anyway, well, I went to Safeway first and got some food and drinks. And uh, and I just stayed in the motel and I'm somewhat refreshed and riding to Medical Lake and back to Chung. I 
Yeah, there's me. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's a car going over there. Could be a rear den over there, but that's too small. It's over there somewhere. Anyway, that's the story of sticking to it. <laughs> that's my story. <clears throat> that is the road that I'm on now, Denny's Station, and it's about seven miles. I'm headed in that direction. That is Fry Road. Looks kind of fried to me. <laughs> So I figure halfway, like 3.5 miles to go to Wakon Road, W-A-U-K-O-N. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Set, 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 Wakon. I was thinking that's when I get to the roads where they're more familiar because getting into sort of Medical Lake and then home in Shin. Shin. <laughs> Telephone poles. <laughs> That's where I came from. Okay. Signing off. So there's the railroad here. We're just outside of Medical Lake. Sometimes it seems like the road goes on and on and on, but can't be too far away. Yes, almost there. So this is Medical Lake, where 250 homes were destroyed last year in the Great Fire. And that's pretty sad, but I am going to take the bus to West Plains Transit Center and then to Cheney because I just don't feel like running the rest of the way to Cheney. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>